What's up guys, it's Patricia from tarantulaheaven.com. We have Miss Spidey in her glass dome right here where she always is, hanging out, being cute. Um, and today we're gonna talk about something that Spidey did a while ago. I'm gonna share a story, a tarantula tale, which I might start making into a series or something, I don't know. Um, tell me how you guys like tarantula tales. Is that good, is that bad? Anyway, so I'm talking about the, the time that Spidey did a mating call at me. If you're new here, I share stories about my tarantulas all the time. <laughs> I share tarantula facts, weird stuff about my own tarantulas every single week for Tarantula Tuesday. So subscribe if you're into that. Um, and if you are not new here, thank you so much for coming back. I'm really happy to be sharing this weird story with you that I just remembered. Um, so tarantula mating is weird and fascinating at the same time. Um, if you've ever seen a video of two tarantulas doing their mating dance and rituals, um, you will be aware that it's pretty much the weirdest mating ritual in the animal kingdom. And considering that the male has a really high likelihood of being killed or eaten in the process, it's also extremely dangerous. But interestingly enough, what I have found is that strange spider behavior can happen with or without the presence of other tarantulas. For example, I myself did not know that there was a mating ritual called drumming, the mating call of tarantulas. And how do I know this? Because Spidey did it at me. I, a few years ago, witnessed Spidey doing a mating call for absolutely no reason. There were no other spiders around. There were no other tarantulas around. It was just me and her in my apartment and it's a cute story so I want to share it with you. So this happened a few years ago. This was back when Spidey was still my one and only tarantula. Um, we have since added a Arizona blonde sling to the family but that was more recent in the last year and a half. This is a few years back. Spidey was my only tarantula and I was walking around her tank one day um, doing laundry and such when I heard this loud drumming sound. It was like really aggressive and uh, it sounded like kind of like that. If you just YouTube tarantula drumming you'll see exactly what I'm talking about but it was like it was against the glass and I was like what the hell was that? I didn't even know what it was. I didn't even know it was her because it was just so weird. She had never done that before but it was her. It was kind of scary um, because I'd never seen that from her before. And honestly, I, I, to my, I, to my knowledge, she's never done it since, at least not in my presence. Um, but I looked it up and it was actually a tarantula mating call that Spidey did to me. So I was very honored, but I, I was really confused about why she might do this. Cause I was wondering, like, since I've never mated her and she's an older tarantula, I don't know if she's ever delivered babies before in, in her life before my care, but, um, I was thinking like, so if she's got these instinctual drives and she wants to mate right now, um, am I hurting her by not allowing her to do that? Is there a, a biological consequence to that? Or do tarantulas have these seasonal hormonal changes or something like that that other animals do? And why hasn't she done this since? So very strange times. Um, a lot of questions it raised for me. Um, I'm thinking, you know, maybe it was the vibration of my footsteps near her tank that might have made her think that there was another tarantula around. I don't know. Maybe it was entirely random. I'll never know the answer. Um, unfortunately, I wish I had gotten it on video because she hasn't done it since and it happened as a complete surprise. So of course I wasn't recording, but it seems to have been my only chance. Um, but yeah, I'll let you guys know if it happens again. Um, I guess it was a random experience. I don't know. Um, maybe tarantulas just do weird things sometimes. Well, I know that that's true. You all know that that's true too if you watch my videos. But yeah, so that was my, my experience with Spidey doing her mating call. I do get people asking me quite a bit um, if I'll ever mate Spidey and Right now, the answer is no. I think it's gonna stay no, um, just because I don't really have a desire to do it. I don't have a desire to have a lot of slings around. Um, I don't have the desire to get another tarantula to mate her with. Um, I think that I'm very attached to Spidey and the risk of her or another tarantula in my care being hurt 
in the mating process, even though that's nature. I think that that's just a little bit beyond me. Um, I know that this is all a part of the circle of life and this is how it happens, but I think that I just get too emotionally attached to my pets to do that. <laughs> so um, I have the utmost respect for breeders and people who do that and make a living off of that. I think that is absolutely wonderful. I think that I just, I just get too attached. Um, so that's not a priority for me. So I don't know if I'll ever get to see Spidey do any mating behavior, um, but if I do, if she does do a mating call again, it won't be because there's another tarantula around. I don't have any plans to expose her to another tarantula or to um, have her be a tarantula mom. So yeah, that's where I am in my journey right now. Um, but let me know if you guys have any experience with your tarantulas doing weird mating stuff or I don't know, just weird behavior for no reason. Um, I would love to hear it. Thanks so much for watching, guys. Um, I really appreciate your time today on Tarantula Tuesday. If you guys wanna know more about tarantulas and mating and other stuff, um, I have put tarantula drumming and all the other stuff related to tarantulas in my tarantula guide, which you can get on my website or at the link in the description below. Well, that is it for today. Um, I heard the jealous cat crying before, so I'm going to tend to her and see what she needs. I hope you have a great day. Thank you so much for watching and take care. Bye-bye.